Welcome to Bratislava. We are in the beautiful Slovakia. We've got a really nice little apartment that's about 10, 15 minute walk from the old town of Bratislava. Um, whoops, Steve. Steve's just doing the final pack up before we have to check out. Yeah, we're checking out today because I think we're staying here for about, what, six days in total yeah. and we couldn't get this apartment for the full time. Yep. This apartment has been great. We've got a little kitchen off to the side there. Yep which Christie's cooked every single night, which is mm -hmm. a bit of a change. Yes. Normally we're eating out and it's just good to have some home cooked meals. It is. And save a little bit of money to increase or stretch our budget. Yeah, definitely. So we're just gonna finish packing up. We need to be out of here in four minutes. I think we're just gonna walk to our next um, apartment. As I said, it's about 10, 15 minutes. It is a little bit rainy. So we'll see, we'll hope that the rain holds off for the next 10 to 15 minutes. But um, yeah, we just wanted to say we're here, we are excited and we're gonna take you around and show you some attractions of the beautiful Bratislava. And check out this view from this apartment, yes. which sadly we're checking out. That was the Bratislava castle that Steve just showed you. So we are gonna go there and check that out today. Um, that should take about maybe 15 minutes to get there. So let's go. We and need it's to go. free entry. <laughs> we need to go. We're gonna be out in two minutes. Can't wait to get back to Australia <laughs> and clean these bags out. It's raining, not too bad though, and it's actually a nice cool change as it has been in the high 30s pretty much this entire time we've been in Europe. On the way to our next hotel, we're gonna stop off for coffee. We found this little coffee shop just down the road from our hotel we just checked out at. Really, really nice coffee. Yeah, when we go to a new place, we usually find a good coffee shop that we love and we revisit it pretty much every day we're in that place, so. It's a must yeah. to have good coffee. Got the good? Got the good, sorry. Also grabbed a croissant. We did. We came here yesterday and tried the croissants and they were delicious. What's the fail? Epic fail. <laughs> the reception to the hotel or the apartment is closed from 11 p.m. to, to oh, sorry, 11 a.m. to yeah. 2 p.m. So now we've got all our luggage. <laughs> we've got our luggage with us. It's quarter to 12, so we need to find something to do for the next two hours. Luckily, we were planning to go out for lunch anyway to a traditional uh, Slovakian restaurant, so we're going to head there now. It's just around the corner from our apartment, about five minutes, so. Not too bad. One of the biggest restaurants in Europe. Yeah. Let's see how big. So we've just placed our order. We got the traditional cabbage soup. It's like a sauerkraut cabbage soup and I think it's got sausage in it. And we also got a platter of three different styles of dumplings with sheep's cheese. So I've had to get one of the local pilsners, which they actually brew in-house here. All right, first course, so entree. We've got the cabbage soup, which we think there's some traditional sausage inside. Looks like a big helping of sour cream sitting on top as well. A bit of that sausage. Definitely tastes the, the cabbage. Very salty, very like sauerkraut vinegary. Mm. So good. It's got like a chorizo, really smoky flavor. It's very oily, a little bit tomato-y. Mm. Balls on the plate. That was the best soup I've ever oh. had in my entire life. I'm not even exaggerating. It was so oh nice. God. I'm so glad that you like Thank it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it was great. Kind of tradition. Yeah, beautiful. This. Yep. This, this foods are like all of uh, our traditional meals. Yep. This one is like our national food. <gasps> so I hope you like it and enjoy it. It looks fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you. Our waiter's so nice, so friendly. So we've got the meat-filled dumplings with the cabbage. 
and then we've got the platter over here it's got three different types of dumplings a pierogi with sheep's cheese and a few other things i can see dill and sour cream i'm going to try the most traditional one first mm, it's very sheep cheesy <laughs> lots of fun from the sheep cheese mm -hmm. oh that bacon i could just eat a whole thing of that bacon this is the they're like miniature dumplings mixed through with cabbage very salty a little bit sour because i'm not sure if it's sour kraut but either way really nice a lot of different cultures have this kind of um, dumpling. You've got like a Tur like a Turkish manti or like a wonton or a dumpling. So these are pierogies and filled with sheep's cheese. Mm. The pastry is quite thick, so it is a little bit chewy. I really like that. And the sheep's cheese i think it's got a little bit of sour cream on it as well and ch uh, dill so it adds a really nice flavor this is probably my favorite one that the staff are amazing at this restaurant. Our waiter was so lovely. He gave us some great recommendations, really friendly, and yeah, everyone was really, really lovely. We didn't get his name though, unfortunately, but um, we gave him this YouTube, cha YouTube channel, and if you're watching this, thank you. You are amazing. So we checked into our hotel about two hours ago. It's cleared up and we are heading to the Bratislava Castle now. So hopefully the rain holds out. It is only about a 10 minute walk from our apartment. So we should be fine. It's pretty much just straight out of the old town up the hill. You can't really miss it. We do have quite a few steps to walk up and quite a few hills to walk up. Look how cool this is. I was just reading on one of the signs here. This is actually one of the only remaining parts of the old town city wall. Medieval wall. amazing views out over the river and you can even see the UFO is it the UFO tower I think, or building? yeah the locals don't call it that they get annoyed apparently it's a touristy thing to say so that also is a great place to go for views mm. but it costs money to go up there to the viewing tower or like what you, we did in Prague you can pay to go have a drink there at the bar but views up here are absolutely free mm -hmm. and it's not a bad walk all right so I got one of these traditional Slovak bagels and I got the almond flavor. I have no idea what to expect. I don't even know if it's sweet or savory. Ooh. Ah. Even the bees like it. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Oh, yum. Mm -mm -mm. Mm-hmm. It's sweet pastry with almond Nothing filling. Inside. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 
So we've come down from the castle to the main square of the old town and it is absolutely beautiful here. Some of the nicest buildings we've seen here in the old town. It's so small for a capital city to have such a tiny little main square is, yeah, it's weird, but it's so cute. It's gorgeous. There's also about four or five different statues scattered around the perimeter of the square. Mm. These seem to be the most popular attractions here in the city. You've actually got to line up to take your photo with them or of them. No thanks. We're going to close it out for tonight and pick you back up tomorrow. There's a few other little sites that, well not little, there's a few other things that we want to see tomorrow so I'm filming you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm spot. surprising him. <laughs> Alright, catch you tomorrow. It's about midday the next day and we've come down to the Blue Church which is about 10 minutes walk out of the old town. Yeah, the church was dedicated to a lady by the name of Saint Elizabeth. She was the Empress of Austria and also the Queen of Hungary. She passed away in the late 1800s, so this was dedicated to her. A lot of people call it the Wedding Cake Church, just from its blue, sort of soft cloud-like appearance. Yeah, I think it's supposed to look like fondant on a cake. It does close during, I think, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. so you can come really early in the morning or later in the evening if you wanted to go in but we are here at midday so we won't be doing either of those. Even though the church is closed during the middle of the day you can actually peek your head through the gates at the front and get a quick look at what the church looks like inside. Slovak pub which is the sister pub to the one we went to last night. I really want to get that cabbage soup again and the sheep's dumplings and I think we're going to get the strawberry bread burnt butter dumplings as well for dessert this time so we haven't really eaten much today so we have saved lots of room. So we have been asked quite a few times if we argue while we're overseas and never and the answer is not really however there is one thing that will always cause an argument and that is directions directions <laughs> we are both hopeless at orientation i'll speak for yourself you are you just he's saying that and we he literally walked me the wrong way so we're, on google maps yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness this is what look this is where he's leading me all right this kind of looks get like out a, of my shot, kind of looks like a dead end. Get out of my shot. <laughs> Google says we can turn here. Oh my god. Okay, we'll see. That's a market. So we're back in Thailand. So we've just come to a dead end, and there was a little Thai massage place, and this is a really cute little indoor market. just ordered a traditional Slovak Czech carbonated drink here. It's called Kofola and it's the rival of Coca-Cola and Pepsi over here. So let's give it a try. It tastes nothing like Coxy, Coxy. <laughs> Pepsi or Coke. It tastes a little bit like Dr. Pepper, which I love. I hate Dr. Pepper. It tastes nothing like Dr. Pepper. But you can taste Heap of different herbs and stuff in there. It's really, I actually really like it. It's, it's a little bit herby. A little bit less, less busy. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's got a slight medicinal taste. That's what Steve, I think, was trying to say with Dr. Pepper. Yeah. I like Coke Pepper. It's a cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh my 
gone. Yeah. Liquid garlic bread. How good is it? It tastes exactly like garlic bread. I just had to stop Christy, whatever she was doing, and had to try that first. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Insane. So earlier in the vlog when we had lunch, we were going to order the dumplings for dessert, but we were way too full. We haven't ordered as much for dinner to save room for these dumplings. So these are, looking at the menu, they're potato dumplings, not bread dumplings like we thought. They're potato dumplings with strawberry and the butter breadcrumb sauce. Super excited. We had these the other day and one of the best desserts we've ever eaten. You can see inside here with this strawberry, sort of keeps the dough or the batter a little bit raw. So to me, it tastes like an uncooked pancake or like a pancake that's a little bit raw, which I really like. But that with the breadcrumbs and butter, delicious. I definitely see what you mean about the uncooked pancake. It sounds a little bit gross, but in reality it's not. Could do with like a side of cream. Mm. I like it. We are, as per usual, completely stuffed and it's starting to rain, so we're heading home. We are. We'll see you tomorrow.